ladies and gentlemen, I've been asked uh, by the family to present it. So I'm representing all these people who have been here and have been patient. And I'm very pleased that uh, the MC has made this law so that we can talk about this mechanism. There will be no other opportunity for the Ministry of Finance and Economic Plan to talk about the mechanism. So I beg your patience, we are patient. Let's talk about this man. Sometimes I forget some people. I'm going to start with that. And let me take this opportunity on behalf of the family to thank the Ministry of Finance and Economic Plan. All the people who have been deeply involved in the planning of this center. We have worked closely with our team to make sure that this man is in an honorable center. Thank you so, so much. Of course, I also hasten to thank uh, His Excellency the President, the Prime Minister, and the Minister of Home Affairs. They have done a wonderful job. And as a family, and I'm speaking on behalf of the family, we are very, very thankful and we are very happy to I also would like to thank friends on behalf of the family. Incidentally, the person who was supposed to speak was Mr. Uh, James Kahoza on behalf of the family. But he called me and said, I'm not coming. He has a lot of characteristics in Makani. I'm not coming. You represent the family. So I'm happy to have been selected also to speak on behalf of the, the family. I'm not talk about, I will not talk about uh, uh, let Makanisi, as far as his work here is concerned. I think that we have talked a lot about it, and people will continue and these other functions talk about uh, our friend, our relative, uh, Mr. Keith Makanisi. Our family has provided two permanent secretaries, two SPs, Mr. James Kahosa and Mr. Makanisi. This is very rare. You probably see the Guinness Book of Records. <laughs> but uh, let me also thank uh, Jenny, who is in Milan now, with whom we have worked closely. She has been our wife, and we shall continue to thank her for standing close and standing with this mechanism. I also wish to thank Nahum and Noah and Catherine, who is now in Milan, for having stood firm and you could see Sandy has the energy to talk about this guy. Thank you so much. I want to thank the judge, they are both, but they really want to do thank you. Whoever brought the judge here, please start the on our behalf at the family. I would like to sing around, sing around one person, and that is Professor William Bazeo. Please stand up for the commission. Those of you who may not know uh, Professor Baz William Bazeo, he has played a leading role in the life of Keith Makanisi as a friend at the high school and as a doctor when he fell sick in 2018, up to just now his death. He has helped so many people in Morago. He has helped so many people at Makerele. You are used to be like an administrator. I don't understand that my family is But I also want to thank you because they are going to help my family as far as the target and medical <coughs> Now, having thanked people, and forgive me if I haven't thanked you, uh, I want 
talk a bit about this mechanism and a little bit of my relationship with it. Most of you, if you see my face, you are going to see me here in the country, sitting in Makanisi every day, having lunch. In fact, some of you may, may have thought the problem my office are here in this paper. I retired a long time ago, 1998. I used to be the managing director of LSS. Kitu Makanisi used to laugh at me. I send you food. If you were, if he, LSS was the Minister of Finance, you would never have had this problem. And it is true. When LSS came here, you know very well the problem of LSS story. When it was sent back to Minister of Gender and whatever, you know what has happened. <laughs> As a former, I've been retired for the last 25 years. But I've worked closely, I'm a student of pensions, I'm a student of uh, social protection. If there is anybody who knows social protection, I'm one of them in this country. And, in fact, recently I sent a message to the PNCSP, I don't know whether you received it, but I was trying to tell you that probably, I don't want to be a consultant, but if he gives me two hours, I can tell him to see Because I believe it is the Minister of Finance which will help social protection in this country. No doubt about that. Others can be stakeholders. Yes, be a stakeholder, but let people who work work. But let people who work work. Now, this is my I've seen uh, 84. You are sent to Poland. I'm much older than, than Makani, but he always consulted me on many things. Because when Makani was doing the senior one in very school, I was finishing Makani University. So, he goes to Poland, he does, I don't know what he was doing, the central planning or whatever, but he was doing planning. He comes back with his tablet and we are very excited to see him, he goes to planning. Then one day he comes here and said, I want to see you. He said, me, I'm resigning from the government. What? I asked him. He said, I went to Poland. My friends who stayed here are driving cars. Do you know why? That was the height of Magendo. People are doing Magendo. The people left behind started buying this, selling this, and you know, all of a sudden they became good. So he said, I, my friend in, in this store brought this marketing, in, no, in this marketing board, he had a brand new car. He said, in this marketing board, there's another friend of mine, he also drives a new car. How can I remain in this store plan? So, I made a plan for him. To see him today was my classmate, not classmate, he was going to be an uh, economist, I was doing people. But we had common subjects, economic planning, economic theory, welfare, economics, etc. So I went to the office and I said, you see, the young man is running away from me. And if you don't grab him now, he's going. So you see, maybe today was very, very stuck. Because he had very big plans for his mechanism. So he called Kitu Makanisi and called me in the office. You see, Mr. Devere was my friend. We were in the guild. As my guild, I was a politician, by the way, except that. <laughs> after I left, I, after, after I mean to go for power, I said no more. If this, if this is what politics is, I'm not there. But other people, like my friend, didn't they continue. Anyway, he called us in the office, and then he I don't, I don't think he, he used it to put them as well in food. But he told him, I have already arranged a scholarship for you to go to Manchester University for a Master of Science in Economics. Now you are, you want to do him again. So we cancelled him and said, the future of your career is in government. Don't go into this parastatus. And me, I was in parastatus, and I knew what was there. There was no future. Rich marketing board, rich marketing board, food that be very easy, rather had way as Mr. Kalinda, you know this organization. They all perished. But the government is still there, isn't it? 
So Mwakanizi was going to listen to me and he agreed to remain in government. Now the rest is history. But he always said to save me. Because I told him you'll be in parastatos, there will be no pension, and incidentally in parastatos, if a minister looks at your face and he doesn't like that day he doesn't like your face, you have lost your In government, it is very, I think, I don't know, but I think it's very good to suck in a single shower. You cannot work up there and tell them I'm sucked here. There are, there are procedures which may put a roadblock on, on, on that one. Now, two more things. I want to talk about the land school. Honorable, uh, Matia Kasidia, he was, uh, he was a, 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 a Janobi of the Tari School. Makanisi is also an OB of the Tari School. Professor Vazi is an OB of the Tari School. I am an OB of the Tari School. Maybe you allow me to take just a few things. The Tari School produced leaders, eminent leaders in budget. Let me just give you a few of these names. Ambassador Musoke, Professor Tumuine, Honorable Chikeiri, Professor Karujiri, James Kahoza, Ambassador Rusita, Rushe Ede. These were the first five, five years of high school. You have heard their names. I've just, I was just writing these names when I was sitting next to Honorable Chikeiri. Uh, the second batch was Honorable Kenshuka, Francis Mwehiri, Ibarra, Ruaris, Red Ibarra, Martin Moesika is in the is in the uh, master seat, he was killed in the early ages of the resistance. Moesika Black was also killed early. I don't know whether he was your classmate. Uh, Professor Kabwejere, His Excellency Iwan Museveni. Vereliyan Ruaheru is also in the master seat. But Mr. Master Book was killed in Chambogo. Matia Kasaija, Honorable Matia Kasaija. Abel Katengwe. Now, Abel Katengwe doesn't fall in the map badge of, of, of the Honorable Matia Kasaija. Our badge is Professor Kamundu. Honorable late Omonyo Jok, Dr. Joshua Mgeni Bank of Uganda, Mazimpaka Minister in Rwandese government in Paston, a prominent Rwandese in the government, Emmanuel Gasana, in Paston, Justice Samuel Jeje, the retired Chief Justice of the Republic of Rwanda. That is our batch now. Me, good with us. Now the last batch, of Nare School. Justice Kwesiga, I don't know whether he's still serving. Keith Makanzi, he has already been retired, and we are here because we are sending, we are, we are, we are giving you a big send off. His Excellency Kagame, President of Rwanda, Professor Bazeyo, who is there. Now, he was complaining that I let me not mention the complaint, but let Makanzi join us. A list of eminent Ugandans and East Africans. And I think he deserves to be listed among those people because he has done so much for the good of this country. <laughs> How did Keith Makanzi manage Ministry of Finance? was my friend. He was also my board member. His wife is my sister-in-law. And my and he's an uncle to my wife. Now, you, you are, so when he died, he said, this, this, is, this job of PSCS is very, very bad. Please don't be frightened, uh, Dr. Dan. <laughs> Sex is very, very bad. Now, when he kissed my hand, he said, this job, we used to tease him, I said, you see, this job is very bad. Please don't be stressed. If you get stressed, you'll die very quickly. Ah, I said, yeah, you not be, I will not be, I will not be stressed. But you have heard that after he tried to avoid stress, he delegated, he said, you do your job, I can't do your job. Which was, but 
But I want to mention one thing that is hard. And I want to go to um, the, the, the dictionary or whatever and look for the word emotional intelligence. He had a very, very high emotional intelligence. Incredible. Is it? There are very few people who have that kind. You come and say, Matia, get out. But later on, you come back and say, I'm very sorry, by the way, I was, I was joking. And everybody knew that Keith was genuine all his life. He meant good, he had no sutina, he had no rubambo, and he really worked hard for his people. Finally, I was privileged, I don't know whether it is a privilege, I spent six months in Turkey with Keith. From December 2020 to June 2021, we are staying in the same hospital. Teaching hospital of Chukrova. We were staying in the same hotel, Sheraton, Adana. And we have the same doctor, Professor Simmons, who was given to us by Professor. I had the time to talk to Keith. I think it during dining, during the time of dining, dinner, breakfast, lunch. When he was in the hospital, my wife would be probably in the hotel. When he was in the hotel, my wife would be in the hospital. But I would be in the hotel because I have many daughters who look after my, my wife and stay behind in, in the hospital. So in the evening, around this time, I will, let, I will of course leave the hospital and go to the city. It was, was very sick. We are okay. So I will of course look for the beer in the evening to control myself. <laughs> that kind of but let me conclude by saying this. I have not seen a person who is resilient, who is determined, who can take everything, bad and good, as good. It. it is amazing. And he only said, I will defeat this disease. It is unfortunate that he may try to put you down, but he is a brave man. And this, who shall miss him as a family? And also, as his son, the person, even this ministry, even office of the Prime Minister, will actually miss him. Because, why are you going to miss him? He had so many characteristics, he had many attributes. But one of the things I liked him, he's never suffered fools, he's never suffered an ego pops, he's never suffered liars. And Keith never suffered cracks. And he's so rich in the country.